Hello and welcome. So today's video is going to be on how to get this airbrushed sunset eye look that you may or may not have seen me apply on Facebook Live. So if you're interested in learning how to get this look, then keep on watching. So I started by applying the shade Spicy Mustard to the transition crease area like so. And once I finished taking it to the top of the transition crease area, I dragged it across the lower lash line. Next, I took a mixture of shade Sangria, Salmon, and Spicy Mustard and applied that all over the lid. Now I did go ahead to make sure and layer up on this shade just so my lid was nice and opaque. Then I took shade Sangria and applied that to the natural fold of my lid, which is also my crease area. And then I did go ahead and dust it over the lid color as well. Next, I took shade Eggplant and applied that to the outer V, blending it in toward the natural crease of my lid, as well as the outer corner of my lid. Now I just went ahead and blended this shade into the natural fold just to get a good amount of dimension. Okay, then next I took the shade Taro and applied that to the lower lash line which is a little bit lighter of a purple hue than the eggplant. Then I applied my airliner. Here I'm just using jet black in a cat eye end stencil like so. Now that that's done, it's time to go ahead and clean out my airbrush. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a drop of cleaner and a few drops of water. This is just exactly the same as what I did on Facebook Live. This is just a recap. I'm going to go ahead and take my cleaning cap, place it over the front of my nozzle. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pump the front of my cleaning cap after pulling back on the lever. And you see it's creating those bubbles because it's forcing the air and the cleaner through the needle housing and the cup. So it's going to move, remove any debris that may be stuck in there and get everything nice and clean. Okay, now to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and apply some mascara. And the eyes are done. And next, my lip color, just in case you were curious, I used Dynair Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sophia. And I thought this color matched perfectly for this eye look. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is it a good match? I think it's a good match. And this is the finished look, a beautiful summer sunset eye look using Dynair. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick recap and thanks again for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!